Hey guys, welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, pretty sure there's nothing I have to do in this gym. These characters just have extra battle or whatever, so I'm just gonna go. Yep. Inside the display case are trophies and other items. Okay, nope. Let's head... Yeah. Uh, hey, he literally said what I was just thinking. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room, where Sayaka's corpse still remained. I'd better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Sword. This is the replica sword I, I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold, too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off on parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Replica Sword has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. Okay, so we have our key. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, oh, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switched room, we switched keys, too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then... How did the killer get into the room in the first place? Did Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. <sighs> the same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So, how did the killer... Switching rooms has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. This is... okay. Oh. Crap. I didn't expect that to be that different. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just the, so it's just the sheath. But, huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So, why are there scratches on the sheath? Replica sword sheath has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Look, ruler. Huh? Looking at the lit ruler, it looks like there's way less there than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Babe. There are gouges in the bed, like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo, 
Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. Why? We ain't exactly Why? in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then. Why? Not just me. Why? Nobody's busted theirs out yet, far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way... None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Cause, like, why the hell would we? Toolkit has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. The notepad is still here, but... I don't think it's relevant right now. Cable. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something! Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? Huh. Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So, something could happen in the room right next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well, perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies. Creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of a struggle has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Stop clicking too quickly. Okay. Let's talk to Sakura. Yes. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether you or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. By the way... You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone defound the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Y yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of that a bitch! That dirty bastard! <laughs> anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking so dead. if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But, but what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no, not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? No, she's looking for fucking clues, dude. Like, I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly sh uh, ah ah oh, tired. Um, but a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up and sh stood up, stood up straight and said, "Listen, are you a clean freak?" Uh, uh huh. N no, I don't think so. But what? Mm. Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? Unusual? What do you mean? So... I searched your room from one corner to another, and, didn't f and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. 
It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it too? I see. Very interesting. The room didn't have a single strand didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka? Or the killer? Well? That's the question, isn't it? Makoto's room cleanliness has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Holy moleum. Like, yawning a lot. Not even... Even late. It's like seven o'clock. <laughs> the bathroom ends on the other side of this door. Dead. No. I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her... her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened! I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse, but that thought held me up and supported me. Toilet. Okay, I'll uh, look. I told myself I couldn't sim I couldn't face what I saw. I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now's not the time to think like that! I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Sayaka's wrist has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... What? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Oh, wow. Did Sayaka do this? Uh, just a disclaimer, I've already played this game, so if, if uh... I, I know what that means, I'm just not gonna say it, in case... I don't know if somebody who's never seen this game is watching. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, I was just making sure that I've actually checked everything here. I think I have. It would seem... It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers. That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. 
Do you often talk like an as aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037, I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well... Think about it. You're not gonna tell me. Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but... It's obvious what you're not... It's obvious you're not going to tell me. Dying message has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Oh my... Okay, we're good. My computer is... Uh, it's, it's not showing on the recording because, of course, why would it be? It's a problem with my screen, not with, like, the game itself or whatever. Um, but, like, my screen is flickering, like, constantly. Um, I've tried reinstalling audio drivers and all of that, so I think it's a problem with the hardware. But I don't have a warranty or money to get my computer fixed right now, so, oh well. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck. Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob? What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off! Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. W whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then, apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is that only you and Sayaka knew about it. Hmm? Hmm, interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get an into all of this. I see. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was e ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my room a good once-over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from, and also... I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see what... But to see for myself what was in that video. 
And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Okay, let's leave the area. Let's go to Tiger's room. Huh? This is that. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, this is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. The nameplates on my room and Sayaka's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Dorm nameplates has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Um... Um, computer, please. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm just confused. We're good. I'll leave myself alone. Oh my Jesus. Um, I don't know. Oh, I just went back in. I didn't want to do that. I can't let myself get depressed again. I need to search for clues. Nothing here. Trash can. There can only be one thing in the trash can. Yup, the DVD with Sayaka's name on it. Sayaka got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I need to borrow this DVD. Uh, let me get eggs in the room. Yes. Uh, hey, Leon. Seems like... <laughs> Something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Very strange. Mr. Nayagi, what was Miss Maizono doing in your room? Let me just say this. Most I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Sturdy gate here, no way to appears! It's the end of the line! The trash room! This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up! How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go any further! No, no, no! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further! Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further! This is stupid. 
it, it'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, no, you can't go any further! Cleaning duty has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Hmm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. Hmm. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Here we of go. course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room. And only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can throw out things whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So in other words... Actually... Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted... Then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. B boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why did you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Oh. I um... just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar! I know why you did it! Is it? You wanna Wait. dig through all the girls' trash, looking for... You know, and poking around at it! There's no way to think about this What are you talking about? Kind of all my love is for 2D! You know what I mean. But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and turn to... I would never get tired of 2D! After spending a significant amount of comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection onto 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you totally not embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable Marora... If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them, then from picking up the trash to disposing of it. <laughs> what? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to... Anyway, on another topic, Hifumi... Since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm-hmm. What? So now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You oh, okay! What? So easy. So Hifumi and I headed down to the trash room. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever, please, just hurry up. Okie dokie, leave it to me! Tifumi pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. Naegi! However, Mr. Naegi, 
Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? Y you fiend! You planned this all along! N no! I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind! Wait, maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? <laughs> huh? Someone turned the incinerator on! Very strange, I'm quite certain it was off the last time I was down here. Was it Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Fumi, do you realize what you just said? <laughs> huh? The fairy? No, you said that the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes, about that. There can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate, Most it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on. And yet... That means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Incinerator has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Check that out. There are shards of bloken... 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 Bloken! <laughs> there are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it used to be some kind of glass bowl just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this yeah, yeah! Is that... Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. 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 Mm. Jesus Christ, I can't speak. Erm, um, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on any big sh city street corner. Gaze into it, and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? Oh my god. Oh my god. There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Shattered Crystal Ball has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. The green button turns it on and the yellow button turns it off. Or so it seems, anyway. This is the incinerator. It's in the way par back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on right now. Okay. We already mm -hmm. did this. Oh god. Yes, it uh. no. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Hmm. A burnt piece, like a hunk, like a hunt of a hunk of burning love. Uh, anyway, this is. It looks like a piece of cloth in the shape. It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, there's definitely blood on the cuff, which means this is all that's left of some of the evidence of the the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. 
burnt shirt piece has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. This whole hmm. thing is quite hmm. strange, though. Quite strange indeed. I can't read. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't here. What does it all mean, Mr. Nyagi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already knows you did it! All the mysteries are being solved one by one! Sounds like he's living out of his own comic book fantasies. Okay. Um... Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me keep calm. So, I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kinda hanging out around here. To tell you the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Okay, uh, let's go into the kitchen, I guess. Anything in the kitchen? No. Just, just decided I should check the kitchen, you know. Why are there knives in the dining room? Okay, maybe we'll get that later then? I don't know. There's nothing in the dining hall, it seems. Uh, what about the laundry room? Maybe. Okay. Kill someone just to save your own life. And I've been living with someone like that. I think I might vomit. But is what Monokuma said really true? Did one of us really kill Sayaka? <laughs> if the mastermind really was gonna get involved, they w would have just killed us d day one. That's a good point. By the way, how's your investigation going? <sighs> I already t told you, I, I don't do blood, so I don't plan on d doing any investigating. B besides, I already know who d did it. This is very After all, suspicious. where was Sayaka killed? In your room, right? What more proof do we need? We already know the tr truth. She really doesn't trust me at all. Uh, I'm gonna head to the gym. I think it said I needed to talk to Shiro earlier, so I'm gonna go do that. Because it was like, Numbers! Ultimate Programmer might know something about that, even though I don't think they will, because 
Uh, those numbers aren't binary. Immediately the only thing that I think of when I think of, like, programming plus numbers is binary, because, you know, I'm not a coding person. Coding person. Yeah, the, automatically you can know that I'm not a coding person, because I said the word coding person instead of programmer. <laughs> hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Oh? What is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any ideas what those numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Mm. Um. Sorry, no. Jihiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or. Could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, couldn't be. Oh. Hi, Shimaru. What you doing? Listen to me! Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it who sh to show whose room it is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens. <clears throat> Wait. No, no, no! You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Got it! Forget everything I just said. Forget! Forget! Forget me! <laughs> Sorry, it's just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh Okay, 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 Shmur. Okay. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with the friend she said had been so important to her. She was perfectly glowing in front of, there, in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... That voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girls pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly the screen went dark. And in the next moment... I saw something I could hardly believe. What the? Sayaka had disappeared from state from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces?
Without warning, the video cut off. Wh what the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Okay, um... What else do I need to go? I'm trying to think. Been to... Seen the crime. Psychic's room. Uh... Gym a few times. AV room. Trash room. Check here? I don't know. I feel like I need to talk to a person, possibly. Let's see, is there any testimonies I haven't gotten? Uh, AV room, I've already been there. Maybe I need to check out the box? I don't know. Gym. Investi investigation, 75% complete. Oh, no, well, that's me. Ha ha, ha ha. Huh, I'm funny. Okay, uh, during the 21st floor. I went to the dining hall, it didn't look like there was a whole lot in there. Back to the dining hall, see if there's something I missed. Let's talk to her. Okay, I was right to look for the knives, I just didn't see them on the wall earlier. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or... I'd better see if anyone here knows more about it. Kitchen knife set has been added. Now I'm going to talk to Hina again, because... I think she might know something. Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that? Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning. That's right. Nope, last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So, when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass... One of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. And you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. Owie's account has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Um... Hey, by the way... Did you really kill Sayaka? W what? Of course not! I would never! Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Cause, I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But... You still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends and killing, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. 
So when you consider everything together... Aww. I honestly have no idea. Okay, I think that's everything I need from the dining hall, and apparently I might actually need something from the gym. So let's head back to the gym. Uh, uh, have to keep remembering how to bring up the map. Uh, we're gonna move to here. Gray after all. Oh, because I found the ball, I probably do need to talk to him. Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? Uh, no, 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 no! I gotta get out of here! Gotta get out now! I've had enough! Gotta break here! Hero, snack out of it. Uh, um. Huh? Uh, Nakoda, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Uh, ah! That's my crystal ball! But it's all smashed! What the hell? What the heck? Uh, I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So, how did it break? What? what? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world! Was that seriously all BS? Uh, um... Let's put that all aside for now. So you can say, without a doubt, that this belonged to you. Uh, um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room. That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered Crystal Ball has been updated. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, um... Sh sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two whole years. Came out to be, like, a million. Uh... M million? Um, That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just too... Too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Okay, let's do it. Yo! You're late, Makoto! We've all been waiting for you! <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were afraid you would be discovered as the, the murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There, we can reveal all the details of Makoto's crime. Ah, uh, so... So they really are convinced I did it, but... I didn't do it. Me and Sayaka both know that all too well. But then, who is the killer? The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? <laughs> Is everyone here? Okay then. Please 
board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom, where all your fates will be decided. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Get started. Got it. Relax. I haven't decided a hundred percent that you are the culprit just yet. Maybe, but you're obviously leaning that way. Well, let's just go to the door. I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Well, let us begin. Yes. Good indeed. idea. Hey. Are you scared? N no, scared isn't quite right. Makoto. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mysteries surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Sayaka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Sayaka's honor, I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raised my voice to try and give myself courage, I turned, trembling with anticipation, toward the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator. When I finally stepped on, the doors closed and the elevator started to move. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds toward the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his fa time finally comes. Oh! Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. <laughs> you finally arrived! What do you think? Doesn't it just feel like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Not even close, it's total shit. Well now. Okay, okay, everyone, find your assigned seats and sit down! Hurry up now! Hurry up! We did what he said and found our seats. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. With Jossa meant it would be easy for anyone to transfer their attention and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. And so, the curtain on our first case opened. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Do you want to save the data? Yes, I do. Oh. Well, I think I will stop here for this episode. And you guys will just have to stay tuned till next time for the trial. Peace out, guys. I'll see you on the next episode of Don Gun Rompa. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you next time. <laughs>